Oh, we're here. Bit of a crazy start, especially in this weather. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm getting some hot flushes. Uh, I'll have to leave the, the office door open, so you may hear the dogs a little bit louder than normal. I apologise. Oh, look at that. We've got some notifications. Uh, so uh, our worker has uh, just completed the job. Uh, so if we go to live map, uh, our worker is now in EGDL, uh, apron work. Okay, so uh, I've just, I literally just set her off uh, before the stream and uh, it looks like she's just finished. It's hot, hot down here in Devon as well, makes a change. <laughs> yeah. DJ Shifty, all good now. Yes, yes, I've sorted it. Uh, like I said, I've been playing around with um, this audio uh, software and uh, it's totally messed up some drivers, so... Oh, never mind. The man, the myth, the legend. Stocker's returned. I'm here, Scania. Thank you so much for your patience, guys. Sorry we're a little late today. But we got there in the end. Uh, how's the music? Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, and everything's working. Like you say, uh, some drivers might be a little bit funny. So uh, you have to let me know if anything's changed your end. Um... Yep, yeah, so we just completed that job. Uh, so if we go to dashboard and look at our finances, uh, incomes, uh, passion service 28,460, cargo 7,000. So you can see our income and our expenses. Um, and like you say, this runs in real time. Um, so since our last, uh, since uh, since Flying Friday last week, uh, so this is how much we've worked. Uh, I haven't done too much uh, off screen, to be honest. If we go to the map, uh, let's get uh, let's get our worker working. Uh, so go to world. Uh, so where are they at the moment? They're in EGDL. So let's find some jobs. Uh, EGDL. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see what's at EGDL. If there's anything there, if anything there, oh there is. Uh, Six hundred and fifty-seven cargo. <clears throat> I think that might be a bit too heavy. Um, I don't think we're going to do that one, but the distance is so small. <clears throat> uh, the distance is so small that we may be able to get that. I don't, I don't know. 657. Let's take it. Let's do it. So we go back to live map. Uh, prepare the plane. Uh, AB is 10 out of 10. Ah, oh, fantastic. Thank you, audio volume. Thank you, Scania man. Uh, nice rainy night in uh, Tasmania at 10.30 at night. Oh, Shannon out. Oh, lovely. Uh, so... Uh, did we take the right one? Oh, yeah. Destination EGFF. So it's low dollop. And you can see we're just over. But if we reduce our... There we go. There we go. If we reduce our uh, fuel to 20%, now that should take us. That should be okay to get us uh, where we need to do, uh, where we need to go. Uh, so it's quite a heavy load. Some printed magazines, uh, but we should be okay, I think. Uh, we are going to EGFF. Come on, on air! Don't you crash on me? Oh, I've had a nightmare start to the stream today. Drivers and all sorts. Uh, love how on air works. Uh, makes you want to get to flight sims, especially with the flight sim 2020 coming out. Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, flight sim 2020 very soon. Uh, must be nice down there in Tassie at the moment. Uh, so we're going to EGFF. E oh, EGFF. Going to Cardiff. Alexis Brown. Go. So it's quite a heavy load for her. Uh, we haven't got much fuel on board, um, but. Uh, it wouldn't let you do it. If you haven't got enough fuel, see we're running about 20%. If we haven't got enough fuel, it wouldn't allow us to go from here to, to Barry, uh, to EGFF. Um, but uh, she's got enough fuel, which is great. And here's our Carinado F33A Bonanza. Uh, we are here in Gloucestershire. Gloucestershire Airport. And uh, we've got uh, some jobs to do. So if we go here and go pending jobs... Uh, we're still trying to do this mission uh, to get a load of XP so we can get some loans and also, you know how, how much I like loans and things. Um, let me move this closer. Yeah, that's just my pad. Okay. 
So um, we're going from EGBJ. Uh, so Gloucester to Fairford uh, is our next delivery. And then we're going to come back to Gloucester and then go to uh, RAF. Okay. And then from Gloucester again to Odiham. So that's, uh, that's going to be what we uh, hopefully get done today. And finish up this level 2 mission. And that should give us a bit more money. Gives us loads of XP. We could take out a loan. Possibly get a bigger plane. Uh, we could buy a plane or hire a plane or something. Uh, take another worker to take over this bonanza. Um, and uh, yeah, just keep expanding our virtual flight airline. Um, uh, got it to 36 degrees in WA today. Uh, a bit warm for this time of year. 36 degrees. Yes, it's uh, currently... It's about 26 in my office at the moment, which is a bit bit toasty, a bit warm, especially with all the lights on and everything else. Um, okay, cool. So we are going to go to EGVA. So we can get into, uh, let me just double check what x is doing, x -plane. Ah, we're here. And yes, it can read my joystick. I'm so happy, so happy. Uh, we're in Gloucester, lovely day. Uh, have I got everything up and running? I have, I've got that. Uh, I've got that. I've got that. So I had to restart the computer, that's why I was a little longer than I thought. Um, there we go. Spending money to make money again. Oh, Davey boy, you know me. <laughs> okay, so let's look at this first. Uh, so this is uh, a program called Pilot, AT uh, Pilot to ATC. So it's our ATC program. So this is basically what gives us the permission to take off and land and, and do whatever we need to do. So uh, let's just connect to the sim. There we go. And uh, you can see our plane there in Gloucester. And we're doing a new flight today. Uh, 500 feet per minute yet. Six, no, we're probably not going to get up to that that high we're probably going to do about a four thousand let's try that um waypoint uh we're going from egbj so gloucester uh two and if we consult our on air we're going to egva which is fairford which is very very close there it is yeah so it's literally a very quick hop hop and jump hop skip and jump uh to egva uh, and I don't, it may be a bit too close for this uh, to calculate a route, but we'll check it out anyway. Auto plan. So you click on auto plan, it just basically checks the route, and that's the route that he wants to check. So this is connected to um, to weather, um, active sky. Uh, so it looks at the weather, sees what the best uh, position to land, uh, and um, checks all the, the, the basically the, the um, the, the info, um, what I'm trying to say, um, the navigation charts, you know, so it takes into takes into account these um, and uh, we can see where we are. There we are. Uh, so it takes into account all this stuff and um, yeah, and chooses the ideal. Part. So what it's asking us to do is take the ILS runway nine uh, and we're doing the Tetru approach, T-E-T-R-U approach. So that's what it wants us to do. So we'll leave that for a minute. Um, let me stop this one up. So here we can set up the flight. So we are departing EGBJ and we're going to EGVA. Uh, Call sign today. Uh, if we look at our. Um, my company, my aircraft. You can see the Bonanza. Uh, the ID is a N5589J. So N5589J. I'm going to write that down because I'm sure I'm going to. N5589J. We're going from EB, sorry, EGBJ to EGVA. Okay, that's done. Estimate cruise, uh, we're looking at 4,000. And hopefully, there we go. Okay, so uh, in the top in the top bar, you, you should be able to see now uh, all the information at the top. 
we can see the call signs you can see where we go, uh, where we are to where we're going and a percentage bar and how long how many miles and how long it will take before we get there and the grain speed and all that so that's how i uh, that's how i give you the information that you got up, up top um good morning uh all happy flying friday 11t how you doing buddy i hope you're well uh, we had some uh, we had some technical difficulties with drivers uh, at the beginning of our um at the beginning of our stream but we've uh, we've overcome them which is good okay so that's sorted that's sorted uh we we know what route we're flying so now uh, let's get in and start uh yeah and get this baby started right uh oh hang on before we do that let's sort out on air so prepare the flight So we are going, um, we're doing cargo three. Um, why won't it let me load? Oh, that's destination. Ah, uh, okay. So this, uh, pending jobs. From EGVA to EGBJ. Okay, so we've got to go to EGVA. Um, Oh, so go to EGVA, pick up something, and then take it back to Gloucester. That's what it wants us to do. Uh, ooh, that's fine. Live map. We are flying to EGVA. Uh, we've got enough fuel. Uh, EGVA. Uh, go to Fairford, 19 miles. And let's start flight tracking. Uh, hopefully uh, the music sounds okay. Uh, like I said, I've had some um, some major um, yeah uh, problems with uh, with stuff this morning. Uh, so uh, driver issues. So I'm hoping that uh, the audio drivers are all okay. Everything's working. Let's start tracking. How you doing, Fixed Horizon? On air flight monitor started. Ooh, okay. So that's starting. Happy days. So let's get in here. And uh, got to remember all my keys now. Okay, so let's make sure we got fuel. Um, uh, we don't need to turn the fuel pump on. We should probably be put the fuel pump on. Right. Turn the battery on. Uh, give it a little bit of throttle. Make sure that's in. Um, put the beacon, the strobe, and the nav, just to make sure that people are aware that we're uh, we're going to be starting the prop. Shout out the window, clear prop. Make sure there's nobody walking past. That'd be pretty messy. And um, there we go. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. You'd think you'd have driver issues on truck in Thursday. Uh, 11T. No, I, I played around with it this morning. <laughs> so I tried to install a program called. Um, is that. Uh, is the engine sounds too loud? Everything okay? a little bit better I hope uh, hope it's not too too late for you yeah so I, I, I basically uh, was playing around with a program called um, uh, audio meter banana uh, because I wanted uh, to put the music uh, I couldn't adjust the levels of the uh, the music coming through um, I guess my joke was too bad oh you think you're not driving oh driver issues sorry LMT <laughs> I got you. Sorry, buddy. Uh, let's turn on the avionics. Gloucester information, Mike. 1100 Zulu weather. Wind 130 at 8. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 26,000 scattered. Temperature 20, dew point 9. Altimeter 3022. Arriving runway 09. Departing runway 09. Advise on initial contact you have, Mike. 
So all that's telling you is um, altimeter is 3022. That's the most important bit of information. So this thing here, uh, 3022. Put it on. So it's a Q and H of uh, one zero two something. Right. So if you just joined us, we're heading to uh, Fairford. Uh, we're going to EGVA using the on air. And this here. Okay. So that's the route we're going to take. Uh, so we go from EGVJ. And we're going to take the Tetru uh, ILS Runway 9 into into Fairford. So we're going to go down to here, Tetru, and then down. That's what we're doing. So um, let's validate the flight plan. File it. Brilliant. Now we need to go to the EGBJ. We're in ATIS at the moment, so we need to go to speak to the tower to get permission to take off. Um, the tower EGBJ is 122.9 and the reason why you can find that is if you bring up the charts, go to EGBJ, come here, um, I think anyone will tell you, I think it is across the tower, it's 122.90, there you go, and that's the frequency we need to go on, so 122.90, now we're, uh, we're connected to the tower, so now we, we can request clearance, we can say uh, Bonanza 8 9 Juliet ready to copy IFR clearance. 8 9 Juliet G L O U C E S T E R S H I R E winds are light and variable. Bonanza 8 9 Juliet ready to copy IFR clearance. Bonanza 8 9 Juliet is cleared to Echo Golf Victor Alpha as filed. Expect departure runway 09. Maintain flight level 040. Squawk 3252. Bonanza 89er Juliet is cleared to Echo Golf Victor Alpha as filed. Maintain flight level 040. Squawk 3252. Bonanza 89er Juliet rear back correct. QNH is 1022. Let us know when you're ready to taxi. QNH is 1022 Bonanza 89er Juliet. There we go. Okay, so ultimeter set at 1022. I don't know why it's slightly different to the ATIS. There we go. Um, and the uh, squawk code is set at 3252. And that's so they, uh, they know who I am and they can track me on the radar. Um, now we're just going to get into our, uh, our flight plan. Um, so we're leaving Gloucester and then we're heading to EGVA via the Tetru. Um, so click on the flight plan. We're going to EGVA, EGVA, enter. And then click on here, load procedure, the arrival. No, nope, not the arrival. Sorry, the approach is, is the ILS runway 09. Uh, vectoring from... to see Tetra there. Um, I guess we just have to go vectors. So load the approach. Oh, there we go, Sitnu. So what it's doing is taking us straight to Sitnu. Oh, there's Tetra to Sitnu. So Tetra. Uh, I think it's taking me straight to Sitnu. Let's go take all this Tetra first. Let's have a look what that looks like. Hang on that. Ah, there we go. So Tetru's on there. Uh, so it looks like we are. We need to head to Tetru. So let's go back to flight plan. Hmm. EG 
GVA, load procedure, approach, ILS 09, we'll go vectors for the time being, load, ah here we go, so then we can go straight to here, remove you, it doesn't want to go to Tetro for some reason, Why that's not uh, not sure, not sure. Uh, PDK, afternoon, buddy. Fixed Horizon, afternoon. I hope you're well. After your stock on chat, I hope you are. The Flying Wolf, welcome. Um, LJ, wow, this looks good. <laughs> Thank you. Who asked is a black stream? The stream is good. Uh, refresh, all good for me. Oh, thank God. Uh, we had a bit of a, um, a rocky start to the uh, to the stream. Uh, so we had some driver issues, so um, please let me know if there's any sound issues or, or if it's too loud, too quiet. Uh, if you can hear me, um, I'd um, most appreciate it. See, it's totally different. Uh, Jacchini. So vectors. I want to go to. Uh, it's like it's not reading Tetru. I can't activate the leg. No idea. Okay, well, let's see where this takes us. I'll tell you what we can do. Let's clear this flight plan. Menu, delete. Okay. Add a waypoint. Uh, we're going to EGVA. Uh, well, let's just go, let's, let's just put it in manually. So let's go waypoint. Tetru. There you go. Uh, so we're going to Tetru. Uh, sit new. Sit new. And then EGVA. EGVA. So let's have a look at how that looks. Now, will it let me go direct? <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> Why can't I go direct to, uh, to Tetru? So going to Tetru, sit new, and then EGVA. Cool. We got there in the end. All right, let's bring it up. Cool, that's done. Uh, engine's warmed up nicely. Um, all that's done, all that's done. Okay, so it's just a matter of now asking for uh, permission to, uh, to clear. We've done that. 
got the Q&H, now request taxi. So we say, uh, Bonanza 89 er Juliet, ready to taxi. 89 er Juliet, taxi to runway 09 via Taxiways Juliet, Hotel, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, hold short runway 36 and runway 04 and runway 09. Taxi to runway okay. 09 via Taxiways Juliet, Hotel, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, hold short runway 36 and runway 04 and runway 09 Bonanza 89 or Juliet. Okay, so we're here. Uh, what it's asking us to do is taxi Juliet, which is J, uh, Hotel, which is H, um, Alpha, which is this bit here. We've got a whole short runway 36, which is this here. We get clearance onto Bravo. Uh, here, hold short runway 4, and then onto Charlie, hold runway 9, and then take off this way. So that's what it's asking us to do. Uh, let's see if I can put that there. So you can see, kind of see where I'm going. Uh, have you set your departure airport? I have. It's in the top there, EGVA. Um, well, this is complicated. Serenar, no, 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 no. I'm, 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 it's just like adding a, a level of real, realism. Um, so we're going to be flying today at 4,000 feet. Uh, there we go. 4,000 feet. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's taxi. So we're going to go Juliet, Hotel, Alpha. Bravo, Charlie. Uh, and off we go, peeps. Uh, morning, afternoon, happy uh, or evening, happy Halloween, peeps. Hey, how you doing, uh, Sussex? I hope you're well. I'm not sure what's going on PDK, I think everybody else can uh, kind of see. Uh, so we're in Gloucestershire Airport at the moment. Beautiful day. So you can see where we're going. So in a minute, we're going to take the. Uh, this is the Juliet taxiway. We're going to take the hotel, which is to the left. It's coming. There we go. Then we go on to. Uh, Has anyone seen him land? Uh, a few people have seen me land. <laughs> Afternoon, Stocko. Hey, Marvin. I hope you're well, buddy. Welcome to the stream. We're, uh, we're here in uh, sunny Lanza Gloucestershire. Nine Juliet, clear to cross runway 36. Yeah, it's just clear to mission. cross runway 36, Bonanza 89 or Juliet. So, otherwise, we'd have to hold short here. Uh, but he's given us access um, to, uh, to cross the runway onto Bravo. Taxiway. So now we're on the 36 runway. Uh, the Lanza 89 at Juliet clear to cross runway 04. Okay, clear to cross runway 04, Bonanza 89 or Juliet. And uh, just give me a position to uh, to cross uh, 04 as well. Uh, all good, thanks. Just tired. Been a long day. Already started with this one at 2 o'clock. Finishes after 11. Oh, wow, Sussex. Um, working on a bank holiday, hey? Are you uh, you off now for the, for the rest of the weekend? Or I hope you're well, buddy. So here we're going to cross uh, runway 04. Uh, get onto Charlie, and then we're going to hold short of runway 09. Morning, Lucas. I hope you're well. Welcome to the stream, buddy. I mean, Christmas. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hopefully you can see kind of where we, uh, you know, the instructions that we was given and what we need to do. So just 
just got to come to the end of this uh, end of this taxiway, and then we're at our correct runway. Yeah, double pay, an extra pay on top of that. It was class, it was not work. Oh, fantastic. Brilliant, Sussex. Brilliant. Uh, Serenar, this is Slaverton. Yeah, Gloucestershire Airport. The this is uh, Slaverton Airport. Juliet advise when ready for departure. Wilco Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet. So what we do is we're going to hold short 09. They've asked us to hold short. They haven't given us clearance to... Uh, onto the runway so we'll just break in there we go let's put the put the handbrake on and come here request takeoff or we'll take off uh, here we go tower bonanza 8 9 juliet ready for departure runway 09 bonanza 8 9 juliet winds are light and variable cleared for takeoff Runway 09, maintain runway heading until above 1,100 feet, then turn right heading 217 to intercept course. Cleared for takeoff. Runway 09, maintain runway heading until above 1,100 okay. feet, then right to 217 Bonanza 89 or Juliet. Let's go. Uh, the aviator pub is right next to the runway. Yes, um, actually, uh, Sarah. No, I think I mentioned that last week. Um, I'll go. I'll go there quite often uh, for some. Yeah, they eat some really nice home cooked food, and uh, yeah, especially in this weather, it would be perfect if it wasn't in this uh, isolation. But the av aviator, I think it looks down this runway. I think the other side of this runway, I think, is the aviator pub. So we should be uh, going. Uh, we should be taking off over the pub. I think. Right. Here we go. Okay, so let's. Oh, I should have put my taxi lights on, but let's put our landing lights on. Uh, we're at 4,000. Oh, uh, runway ahead in is set. Let's bring this up ready. So the flight director's on. Heading is on. Just go and click on autopilot engaged. And uh, let's go. Bumpy runway, this. Airspeed's alive. On, so it's doing the runway heading. Okay, we'll put it off now because I started trimming. Flight director's on, heading, autopilot. There we go. So you've got to get to 1100 and then we can turn right on back onto course. Keeping the, the speed to around about 100 knots. And we're up in the air, guys. Uh, top up with some. Uh, just it's so hard to say. Gosh, <laughs> it is a bit warm today. It is a bit warm. I say I got I got the window open here. I got the door open here just to get sort of a, a, a through flare of uh, of wind. Uh, For a little bit. Uh, so oh, we're way past it. Let's click on uh, this one to stick on the GPS. And then, no, we're turning right now onto course. Continue, uh, continue uh, going 
got it to 4,000 feet. And let's look at that. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Hayden, if I host it, thank you very much, Hayden. I hope you're well. And uh, Mina Cut uh, with a follow. Thank you very much. PDK with a host. Thank you, buddy. Uh, yeah, really, really appreciate the support, guys. Uh, we're, leaving, uh, we're leaving Gloucestershire. Uh, or Stanton Airport. And we're heading to... There's GCHQ there. And we're heading to Fairford, which is an RAF base. This is Charlton and Gloucester. I'm looking at Uh, flying all stucco using the 11.5 beta. No, I'm not, buddy. Uh, this is quite stable for me. Uh, so when the beta goes into alpha, it gets released. Approach on 127.25. Enjoy your afternoon. Approach on 127.25. Bonanza 89 or Julianne. Okay. So you can see where we are. Just going to join Approach our course. Bonanza, Go down to Tetru. Climbing to flight level zero four zero. So uh, it's a very short flight. Bonanza uh, eight nine or Juliet. Good afternoon. Radar contact. Turn left heading two one three vectors to the ILS approach for runway zero nine at Fairford. Heading two one three vectors to the ILS approach for runway zero nine. Bonanza eight nine or Juliet. So it's telling me that I've got the ILS approach of runway 09. So what we do is we bring this up. Um, I don't know whether I've got, I should have the things for EGVA. EGVA, the charts for it. There we go. So this is Fairford, the ILS runway 09. Um, this is that um, uh, the Gickney approach, but we're not doing that. Uh, we're coming from Tetru uh, straight onto the uh, to the ILS approach into. Um, into Fairford. Uh, so what we need to look at here, so the, the degree 090 and then the ILS frequency which is 111.1. So if we bring this bad boy up here you see the ILS 111.1. Let's put that in. There we go. Uh, now what we need to do, uh, once we get on the straight here, uh, we set the OBS. Bonanza 89 or Juliet turn left heading 208. Heading 208 Bonanza 89 or Juliet. So when we when, once we get uh, onto uh, onto this here, we should mimic. Yeah, here you can see our our ATC is asking us to come down here to Tetru and then come in. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Um, yeah, once we leveled off, um, we can set the uh, set up for the OBS on on here. To the zero nine zero eight nine or Juliet turn right heading two one three heading two one three Bonanza eight nine or Juliet. So all I've done is see this heading sync. There you go. It's synced up. So we're going in this like this direction. Um, so then on here instead of nav, we just go uh, heading. There we go. So go in the same heading. Everything's uh, everything's okay. And now with this, we click OBS, uh, and we can change. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we can change this figure here to zero nine zero. Bonanza eight nine or Juliet turn right heading two one eight. Heading two one eight Bonanza eight nine or Juliet. Zero nine zero. There we go. Put this back onto GPS. all the time. I don't know why it does it. But, uh, let's go back to heading hold. It loses the uh, where I want it to go. So we want it to go here, activate the leg. There we go. We want to go Tetru. Map. Nav. There we 
Uh, send it to text. Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet turn right heading 228. Uh, probably heading 228 Bonanza 8 Niner, Niner, Niner Juliet. Ah, the Flying Wolf. Yeah. Um, I would definitely. Oh, it sounds like it's, it's a great uh, great thing, and it's definitely something that we needed uh, for expert. Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet descent and maintain flight level 030. Descent and maintain flight level 030 Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet. Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet turn right heading 233. Heading 233 Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet. The reason why the ATC is going up, I don't know why it's going a little bit nuts. We're on course, as you can see. It's just been very picky today. Stay there, yeah. TGIF. Uh, but at this stage, every day feels the same. It does indeed. Um, just uh, going down to 3000. Bonanza That's 8 Niner Juliet, turn right, heading 238. Heading 238, Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet. I don't know where the uh, ATC is trying to take us, but we'll carry on doing this. Now, when you're flying for the approach to Fairford, give my sister a shout out. She doesn't go through the front path. Ah, so six. Oh, brilliant. You will do. So yeah, very short hop today. Uh, from Bonanza to 8 Fairford. Niner Juliet cleared for ILS to runway 09 fly heading 123 to intercept final. Cleared for ILS approach to runway 09 fly heading 123 Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet. Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet QNH is 1023 at Fairford of Contact Tower on 124.8. Have a nice day. QNH is 1023 Tower on 124.8 Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet. Okay, so then we just turn it on to final uh, at Tetru. Tower Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet inbound for ILS approach runway 09. Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet, good afternoon. Radar contact. Continue ILS to runway 09 call when established on final. Continue ILS to runway 09 will call when established on final Bonanza 8 Niner Juliet. So we're going to let them know when we're established on final. Uh, we're just coming, as you can see, we're just lining up now. And I think there's the airport there. Right in front. So we're going to bring, the, bring some speed down, we're going to get some flaps out. We're supposed to be at 3000, but at 2800, so it doesn't really matter. Get some speed down, put some flaps, put the landing gear, and we'll be good to go. Flaps one. Oh, Rumsey, how you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. We're just coming in to do our first landing of the day. That's flaps one. That's four flaps. Gears down. We want to keep it around about 80 knots. Uh, click on approach. Why are you doing that? We must be outside of the. Um... No, no, we've got the glow up there. which you see in a minute is a GS come up here which means that we hit the glide slope and life is good that's what we're looking for uh, you should go to the air tattoo um, it's amazing yeah no the uh, we, do you know what we live quite close to uh, to Fairford we're not a million miles away and um, we want to go every year but uh, unfortunately so we're looking for a GS to come up here and a GS here Hopefully we'll start seeing it soon. Uh, we are 
make 70 knots. Flaps are down, gears down. We're uh, just making our way in. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, it's uh, obviously finished today. Uh, well, it's uh, it's all closed due to the current situation, but uh, we were going to go this year. So I'm not going to be happy until I see the GS. So we can't really see the runway. Is that the runway there? That's got to be the runway. I think we've overshot it. I think we're too high. So if you see it, oh, 2,000 feet, we've got to hit the, uh, oh, it's sit new, 2,000 feet at sit new, okay. So what we need to do is come here, 2,000 feet, engage, let's try and get down to 2,000 feet before we hit sit new. Uh, only an hour so down the road, so not too bad. Yes, yeah, Serenar, me too. Um, so try to get down to 2000 to hit the glide slope. Uh, as per this here, it's showing at Tetra 3200. 2000 at Sydney. We're not quite at Sydney yet. And we're good to go. 2200. We're on approach. This is going to be the airport here. And I'm just waiting to hit this guy, so. Of feet, we haven't quite reached Sydney yet, so that's good. Yeah, we should we should be okay. So everybody, yeah, brace positions. <laughs> uh, brace positions. I, I think it'd be okay. See the uh, the lights. Uh, one's turning white. Uh, got three red. So red is means that you're too low. White is you're okay. Uh, so if they were all white, you'd be too high. If they're all red, you're too low. So at the moment we're a bit low. Um, I think once we start seeing two white, two red, I think we will hit the glide slope and we'll be good to go. There we go. And come on, don't prove me wrong. Glide slope. Any minute now. <laughs> oh, any minute now. It does look like we're coming to the right of it, doesn't it? No, VLOC is on. Uh, we're on approach. We should be hitting it. Uh, we're going a bit too high now. We're going to hand fly this in. We're not going to do an ILS approach. We'll hand fly it in. First landing of the day, hopefully not our last. Well, it could be. It could be. So uh, we're, we're hand flying this in. to get and make sure we see the two two white two red here so we're a little bit uh, a little bit high at the moment so we'll just lose some altitude so I'm not quite sure why that didn't work
to get a bit more, a bit more height out of this. Uh, when we're going to see you fly bigger planes, well, when we can afford one in uh, on air, our airline manager. Two red, two white. Bonanza 89 at Juliet Winds R124 at 7 knots. Sweet clear calm. to land runway 09. Clear to land runway 09, Bonanza 89 at Juliet. Uh, Trying to get enough XP to take a bigger loan out for a bigger plane. That's, that's right. Uh, David Roy, yep. Yeah. It's all about the loans in my simulation games, you should know that. So I'm not quite sure if anybody knows why the uh, ILS didn't work there. If you can let me know, that's great. So we're on the right place. Yeah, we're on the right path. You see the two white, two red. That's what we're looking for. And that's bringing us down nice and gently. Uh, at least a GA aircraft, you can drop the height quite quickly. You can, uh, and the speed. Yeah, it's quite manoeuvrable. Uh, you certainly couldn't do that with a uh, with a bigger aeroplane. Uh, so two white, two red means that we're coming in okay. We're at the right speed at 80 knots. Landing gears down, flaps are down. Uh, we are going to land. Everything's looking hunky dory. It is a little, it is a little windy up here. With such a little plane on a big old runway, uh, we can take as long as we, as long as we want along the uh, runway to make sure we, uh, we land quite safely. Come to land. Landing time logged. Not too bad. Landed, landed at Echo Golf Victor Alpha. Fair four day B. Rumsey with a thumbs up. Thank you, Rumsey. Come on, give us a give us a rating out of twenty on that landing, peeps. Uh, there's no, there's nothing here, is there? Uh, so we just come off the runway. There's no buildings as such, so we just have to figure out where to uh, where to park up, where we'll pick up our package, and we're going to go back to we're going to go back to Gloucester now. Uh, need calibrated. I'll get my hammer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, looks empty for Fairfield, but it's static. I don't know why. I don't know why there is nothing here. Uh, I'm scared to touch my my uh, my settings. Um, I think it's probably because it's a military airport. I don't know. Thirty out of twenty, a bit rough, wasn't it? It was the old word. You're right. So I'll tell you what. Nineteen out of twenty from David Wolf, thank you very much. There we go. Okay, we stopped. Let's put the handbrake on. And uh, let's shut her down, pick up our uh, pick up our bits and bobs and then we're gonna fly back to Glossa. Seventeen point two out of twenty way so stands. Thank you, mate. <laughs> thank you very much. Engine off time logged. End of flight. Registered in on air company. Let's turn off you. There we go. Cold and dark. Uh, we just uh, put all the static elements on. View external. And there we go. We're here. We're here at Fairford. We're going to pick up our bundle and uh, head back down to. Uh, to Gloucester. But let's jump over to uh, On Air and see what they have to say. Here we go. Your flight's been monitored by On Air, um, and yeah, I think uh, I don't think the um, the landing was too bad because the uh, condition is, is is quite low. Um, valid flight, 